life happens, just explain it. What just happened? Well, well, my car windshield just broke, and that's not good because it can anything can happen to it. You can get hit by a rock, and then I got my house broken into. That's another 500. So life's not going pretty well for me at all, just for now. But later it could, it could go well. So today is uh, the WSCCU Financial Reality Fair. Um, it gives them an opportunity to kind of test drive what life is going to look like after college. It's really, really cool. Honestly, so we didn't have this same, you know, flow through with all of, like the technology, all of like the business people coming in. But I know that leaving high school, my one thing and something that I felt was a general consensus even from other schools was that they didn't teach you about budgeting or taxes or managing anything that would come in the future. They were more giving you skills, you know, to carry on into the workplace, but not necessarily into like your home life and managing all of these things. So the reality fair is all about helping you understand what it's like to survive on your own once you're out the world. So the tables are like transportation. How are you going to get around? Food. Are you going to be going to the grocery store? Are you going to order Uber Eats? Um, do you have a phone? Do you need a phone plan? So all of those different things that you don't think about that add up. And then you can go over to life path situation, right? You can have everything planned out just so. And you could pull that you blew a tire on the freeway and you have to pay $125. Well, that might be out of your budget. And so now you have to make decisions on how to pay for that. It was very stressful. The first time around, I, I was in a car accident and I lost $500. But the second time around, I got um, $200. So it was a little bit nerve wracking going in not knowing if you'd lose a lot of money or not. So that's where the reality all comes together. You can calculate on that app and then you see are the choices that I made helping me or hurting me? Today was great. It was a wonderful learning experience. I went through the first time and I saw that I did great. I wasn't in debt, but I knew I had so much money left over that I could make some different choices. So the second time around, I wasn't as frugal as it was before. And it was great to see that you can um, have a budget and still do fun things. And I think that's a great thing to learn that you know, the budget doesn't mean you only can, can only get the cheapest things. It's you can spend a little here, but know that you can save somewhere else. A hundred bucks was big to me in high school, and so it's like, you know, walking in. Oh, I have a salary of twenty-five hundred dollars a month. Well, now all you're actually walking away with is like two hundred bucks to your name after you're paying for all of these different things that you have to do to get through your daily life. So. I think that's the biggest sticker shock is seeing like the fact that, oh, I thought I had a lot, but now it's coming down to pretty slim. Most students that have a support system at home, they have no idea what it costs to be them. And by the time they walk through and they pay for food and they pay for clothing and, you know, just trying to figure out what car insurance looks like on top of a car payment. And then with, you know, first and last month's rent deposit and then, oh, if you have a pet, the pet has to pay some sort of monthly rent. I think that's the big aha moment is that, oh my goodness, it actually costs money to be me and somebody else is footing that bill right now. She had put everything on her credit card, so you have to figure out how to balance whether or not you're going to pay for it today or if you're going to pay for it tomorrow. Because a credit card will sneak up on you every time. You pay that back plus interest. So it actually costs you more in the long run. So, that's the reality.